At LAX and at airports across the country, security is tight. More police are on patrol, and TSA agents are taking a closer look at passengers and their luggage. The State Department recently issued a worldwide travel alert for U.S. citizens, and Homeland Security warned of possible Paris copycat attacks. But today, President Obama tried to reassure anxious Americans. Right now, we know of no specific and credible intelligence indicating a plot on the homeland. LAX will be the busiest airport in America this holiday season. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez is live at LAX with a look at the security situation there. Dave? Well, Juan, security is the name of the game. Over my shoulder, you can see a very wide open loop right in front of the Bradley Terminal. Uh, all the air airport officials tell me that they expected this lull, if you will. Uh, it'll start picking up, they say, between 6.30 and uh, 7 o'clock, and then it'll just be a madhouse up until about 10 o'clock. Uh, there will be no lull. There will be no break in security. That's the name of the game here. A group of LAX police officers with automatic rifles on their shoulders in full view and Marsha walked right by and didn't notice. I didn't even notice her rifles. I was looking down. <laughs> You're very nonchalant then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you feel safe, secure? Here I do. Her voice trailed off. She didn't want to give me her last name, and she said she's traveling to Thailand. A uh, little nervous, but, you know, I'm not going to stop doing everything. So with police dogs in plain sight, officers with high-powered rifles, and TSA agents going through items with a little more scrutiny. The long lines are moving a little slower, and patience is definitely a virtue. Clearly, there is a heightened awareness at LAX. For sure, yeah. What, what, what's seen, the first thing you see? Seen a lot of police officers with uh, with uh, big guns. You're just seeing a lot more of it because you're looking for it. LAX officer Rob Pedergon explained that there are more officers patrolling. There are a number of undercover agents, but he wouldn't give any details. We can't really say what we've done, of course. We don't want anybody reverse engineering what we do, but uh, we, we've changed our posture. On this day before Thanksgiving, the airport was jammed. Traffic, foot traffic, people hustling to their flights that would take them to loved ones virtually all around the world. Are they nervous? Are they frightened? No. <laughs> It's a kind of difficult question. Look left, right, and forward, and backwards. No, we have no fear. And that was the attitude of just about everyone we talked to. They're certainly well aware of the situation, but they say life has to go on and they'll be very vigilant. Again, over my shoulder, uh, it's kind of a stunning look to know that this is the day before Thanksgiving, but the airport officials expected this. The lull will continue just like it is now until around 6.30, 7 o'clock tonight, and then look out. So again, from the busiest day, travel day, to tomorrow, one of the slower days, but the high rate of security will not disappear at all. In fact, it will not uh, even uh, diminish at all. So happy holidays, everyone. Back to you in the studio, Juan and Lino. All right.